Hello guys and welcome back to the most tragic Let's Play ever. We have lost Pangles. He died in combat with the goddamn faction leader, the King of Lyktos. So, the army, despite winning handily, lost its king. And who rose, apparently, the man of the hour, was apparently a cowardly commander called Cleon. He has minus one to command. Leadership is just a long word in this... <laughs> long word to this man. Like, inspiration, he possesses Niver. Now, what I actually want to do is take this man who's now being lifted upon someone's shoulders and declared the commander of the main army and he's going to complete Pankle's work. I'm going to assume he's... Like, he was someone in Pankles' is like general's bodyguard. Maybe he failed to protect the king. Now, we already came up with the history... No, I mean, the history was already told that Pankles had sacrificed himself so we would get, you know, total victory over the island. But maybe this guy was like... He was sort of right there when Pankles got shot and killed. So, he was declared the new commander. He was officially adopted by the man who's widely regarded, given his heroic victory, as the second most competent commander after Pangles. He's been adopted by him. And now, Cleon has taken over the army as an official son of the administrator branch of Sidonia. Now, he's terrible at everything. Absolutely terrible at everything. He gives minus more morale to the troops. But I want to use him. The little, a uh, little effort. Sight of blood makes this man go pale, an unfortunate trait for one who is expected to command, indeed. He's ignorant, charismatic, and vigorous. While lacking in scholarly aptitude, this man compensates with abundance of charisma and vitality. His social acumen and boundless energy may offset his intellectual or deficiencies, allowing him to navigate the complexities of leadership through sheer force of personality. Though not destined for scholarly pursuits, his tireless efforts and social connections can propel him to positions of influence and authority. So he's like some minor noble who's probably been taken on as part of the general's bodyguard. And now he's been elevated by being adopted into one of the main branches. He's got increased fertility, extra hit points, and improved personal security. He's an inferior commander. So he's, he's just really bad, but I'm going to use this guy. I'm absolutely going to use this guy, and I'm going to turn him into a good commander. Sulcer Drinker. Cleon? You're going to have to pay your debts. You're going to get sent reinforcements by your adopted father. Can I merge? I don't want to over-merge, though, because I, I, I'll probably get rid of them. Can I manually merge? But it's not letting me do that. I don't know how to manually merge, because before you just drop it on there, but like now it shifts the troops around. Doesn't matter. We've probably got enough here to take on the next city. So who's he? He's the faction heir. Wow, we he is very influential. But I want to go straight for the capital. Question is... Do I... I should probably take the turn, refresh my army, then come back. Because they're, they've lost their entire army. I don't think they'll be coming out again very soon. And if they do, it'll be a horrid mistake on their part. Because then I'll come back out and take care of that army. Alright, we're retraining the army. Uh, where's that Greek mercenary Peltus? We, we don't need you. Get out of here. Well... God damn it, Pankles. You'll live on. You will live on. His shade cries out for vengeance. Indeed it does. Right. We will... We will have vengeance. We will complete his, his legacy, his destiny. To take over the entire island. Yes, ma. Yes, master. Yes, master. Meanwhile, we're still exploring the coastline.
Alright, I think that'll do then, so next turn. Actually before next turn, what am I doing with taxes? I need I need money. Really need money. I'm gonna just tip everyone over to the highest rate of tax I can get. Just to ensure that I'm getting the money I need. Okay. Okay. It looks like, uh... <laughs> I don't think Nosos so likes the high tax rate. We'll, we'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, right. How are we doing? We almost fixed everyone up. There's just a few people, but honestly, I'm happy to just go with this. Looks like they've sent the rest of their forces out. Okay, Cleon. Time to prove yourself. We'll leave the, uh, the Cretan archers this time. You're gonna have to start fighting back some of these troops. Glorious victory! Prepare for battle! Begin the siege! Begin the siege. Besieging settlements. Let's see what happens here. Send out whatever other reinforcements we can throw at them. You. Oh, wait, I, 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 you need to go with him. <laughs> Don't know why he wasn't there. Uh, let's auto sort those cards. There we go. Alright, your dad's just nearby. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to see how this goes. I, I'm gonna see how Cleon does with this, the command of this army. A most generous proposal. Yes, ma yes, master. Okay. Yes, my lord. Next turn. So they're gonna go back to Nosos. They're not gonna try and help in Arcades. That's fine. That's better for me, actually. No faction has died. Where does that leave us? Petras. Diodorus has gotten a tuned governor. Good. So if he ever leaves, yeah, okay. Seems to be what happens if you just governor Blaith long enough. Uh, right. Yes, Cleon, this is your time. You got a captain and their literal faction heir. What I want to do is bust into the settlement as quickly as possible, just kill the faction heir. And deal whatever reinforcements this captain's bring along, which is not much. Yeah, I think we've easily got this. We'll fight this, and I'm hoping you get a better trade out of this. This is your first taste of command, and it's to seek revenge by killing the son of the king, who cowardly killed Pankle and ran off the battlefield. This is the revenge tour. We will chase this king down and slay his heirs. Take up the spear and shield. Put on your helmet. Put aside the fear in your heart. And remember that you are the sons of great soldiers. Is that so it? let no. your battle cry put fear into the enemy's hearts. Call to the heavens, sons of Greece, and fight with honor. Okay, Cleon, you're not getting involved in the fighting because you're a coward. So if I'm if I'm playing you right, you never want to be involved directly. You saw what happened to Pangles. Go, go, go! Now. Looks like I can get him from this side. Yeah, I'll split my forces in half. I'll break him from two locations. Missile troops. I'll have... Missile. Have all of you. What's a better way to do this? Yeah, let's have all of you. Come up this way. Missile. Have all of you. Up this way, we'll take over the town, and then by the time the reinforcements get there, we will kill the factionaire, and then we'll have complete control of the town. 
Cavalry, I assume you're just never gonna leave the upper cavalry side, so you just stay here with the front at the front gate. The enemy have brought up more men. Oh wait, no, they're there. They're coming up this way. They're gonna engage us. Get missile cavalry. You know, even though you're a coward, you might have to fight them. Depending if they break themselves off so far away. Like, if they're so far away from all the spear troops, then it's a chance to kill the enemy captain. I don't think even you would pass up the opportunity. Okay. Deploy the Cretans. Go, go, go! Quickly. Quickly. Units. Units. Double time. Okay. You try and secure this, but obviously you're not entirely sure you want to get that involved. Missiles. Fire. Reach the gates nice. with the battering ram. Oh, that's it, man! Just keep throwing those rocks! Uh, good good job! Good job and all that. You're not even facing them, sir. I, I guess I am. I'm totally looking. You don't see me, right? Nice. You know what? Let them come closer. These. <laughs> the slinners are absolutely destroying these guys. That's armor piercing rocks for you. Or lead bullets, whatever they're using. Our oh. soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate. Right, it's broken through. Time to get in there and do our bloody work. Well, this day, the walls are taken. Okay, the army is coming in now. Right, Cleon, you run inside the city. Run inside for safety. Missiles. Honestly, I just want you to skirmish the entire time. If we take out the rest of the cavalry, you could legitimately just skirmish the infantry forever. You begin going for the uh, hoplites. How are we doing? Yeah, we just got a mass of hoplites coming up the center to deal with the faction air. Oh, my hoplites want revenge. You won't survive long. Yeah, you continue to skirmish. That should be fun. You just need to take out the missile troops because they're the only ones that are going to deal any damage to you. Pursue them. Why are you not pursuing them? I don't. You know what? I don't even care. Charge them. Just kill them. Because you, you seem to be stopping, and then that's causing more problems. Why are you walking, dude? Get involved. Uh, what happens to you? Why are you running? Oh, you probably got stuff thrown at you. Well, as long as you just keep skirmishing properly. <laughs> You're just chasing the other guy off the map. Well, the general's not gonna last too much longer, I don't think. This one guy's got behind them all. <laughs> Take the this. Have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. It's like two guys back here just stabbing your horses in the ass. Well, 
No general's gone. Make sure... Yeah, you're, you're probably skirmishing that unit. Once we're done... <laughs> Just Cleon. Yeah, you're doing some good work, guys! Okay, I think you've become unhelpful at this point. Let's get you out here to do all the rest. God, we're really tiring these guys out. You are terrible at skirmishing, I want you to know that. Great God be praised! The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! Now, I don't want to take the town center. I want to make sure they die. So, infantry, get out here. We're going for the battle. Uh, Slinners, if you can, start skirmishing this way. <laughs> Try and bring them back. Without getting caught. The what? gods be praised! Oh. The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! What? Oh, wait, well, that. Right. I, I thought the cavalry general had already died. I guess. Well, the captain, that is. I guess he didn't. <laughs> so we just got him now. For a second, I thought Cleon died. And I was like, Cleon? What the hell? He had one job, and it was literally to just not die. Go back to skirmishing. Do your best. Uh, what's going on here? They're very tired. There's this is a handful of people still charging, but they're just like, why are we still doing this? Can we just stop? Speed this up. Okay, everybody, all of you, <laughs> start skirmishing these guys as well. Just start messing with them. Uh, what I'll do, I'll... I'll send two of you guys out. Oh, what? You... It's because the main body's over there that you're just being idiots. You've literally just charged the troops. They're exhausted. I'll grant you that, so they're not going to be doing too well. The idea was that we just, you know, we weaken them as much as possible. So you're exhausted. Yeah, we'll just we'll see how it goes. How are you even holding up? You're, both commanders are dead. And you're still eager. How can you be eager in this? Well, we'll see how well it works out for them. Because I don't think they're enjoying it right now. to risk a single one of my hoplites in this engagement, <laughs> so I'm happy. Uh, meanwhile, over here, yeah, they're wavering. Okay, Cleon, can I trust you to wrap up? Can I trust you to not die on this charge? Like, you've been assured by all the generals that yes, this is perfectly safe. In fact, it is Pursue perfectly safe, them. because Drive they're running away. The you just gotta make sure that you don't get hit in the face by a rock, and you'll be fine. In fact, we just need to make sure we don't do friendly fire. Okay, 
Okay. Well, that was a good victory. Cleon even got some kills there, I think. Just at the very end. Okay, excellent. So we took out a town, a factionaire, and an army. More than happy with that. Good job, Cleon. You've led your first successful battle. Hopefully that means you'll lose some traits or gain some good ones. I don't know if you can ever lose, like, Lily Livered, but hopefully you can get rid of that terrible commander trait. Cleon is a sociable guy, but would he... I think he would enslave the guys. I think he would enslave them. Retinue expands. Exotic slave. Well, look at Cleon. <laughs> Increases his influence, minuses his hit points. I feel like this is Cleon. He's getting a bit of respect, at least. Slaves don't have to be useful. Sometimes they're just for show or fun. Well, there we go, Cleon. Congratulations. You now have a bit of influence. Alright, well, with that done, could you come out and fight the next battle as well? Their commander is in Lyktos, their king. Uh, let's do some merging. Alright, you need to head back to Cydonia for retraining. My lord. Same with you, My same lord. with you. Yeah, all of you go back to Cydonia. Or maybe I, I can leave you there. You need to go back to Cydonia. Uh, can I make any buildings? I can make a blacksmith. That would be great. Could get a half light. I already have plenty of half lights. I think just more slinners would be nice. Also an agent. Take zero turns, right? Yeah. Put you there. Get an agent. Could use an agent. Right, with that... Do I just send you straight in there to relieve the siege? I think I could. If I come here, then I won't get a draw in that town, but I could draw in the rest of the army in the field. Ha! Ah, knocked him back. Oh, does the Kim want to fight? I've just drawn in the entire army. Ooh, do I go for this? It's in the field. They'd come in as reinforcements after. So I could quickly take care of this army. And, I mean, look at this. There's, there's nothing to them. Like, half the army is the units of three guys. Along with a few veterans of their campaigns. Yeah. Yeah, okay, Cleon. You're ambitious. <laughs> you seem to know what your troops can do. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it out there that Cleon, he's not a good commander, but maybe he's a decent strategist. If that makes sense. If you can smell something ripe. That's your enemy! That's what... Await my orders! Uh, right. We'll... The idea is to just charge, if we can, charge and just destroy their forces quickly. So where are they? The enemy have brought up more men! Damn it, they're right there. I should have known, should have really known that they would keep their men right at the back. Fine. It's fine if they they come together as one. Let's bring up our own troops. Get them ready. Keep you on the right. So their army's gonna come together before I can properly get to them. 
Again, their army doesn't really consist of much. They have... What they do have is very high quality. Silver Chevron troops. But a surprising amount of the troops is, like, nearly dead. So I'm better off just doing a, a full-pitched battle rather than doing a rush job. Especially since my troops just got winded going up this hill. Okay, they seem to agree somewhat. Alright, army, forward! They do have a slight advantage, they got a slight hill, but I doubt it's going to make that much of a difference in the battle itself. Nope, I think... They coming out for us? Our slinders can begin, so I might as well. Okay, they're coming in for us. Or are they? I don't know. We'll see, I'm gonna take advantage of it regardless. Oh, their general is being pounded. So general coming in for a general charge. Missiles! Missiles! Depends. No, he's actually skirmishing. Okay. Although are you are you running? Are you throwing? No, you threw. Okay, good. As you should. I'm not percent sure this cavalry's not exactly meant to skirmish with other skirmishers because <laughs> they're probably not going to do that well. Right, get behind the line. And, uh, hoplites, Units. form up properly. You're, you gotta... No. Form up properly, you got a few gaps. Okay, cavalry, you're about to start skirmishing. They have the archers firing at my cavalry. Alright, Cleon, get out of there. We're not doing this. We're not losing our general again. Cavalry. Just keep yourselves out the back and out the way. Do that circle thing. My missile troops are doing pretty good. I think they just got a chevron out of this. Uh, right. What I probably want you to do is continue to attack their skirmishers. Just from the back. Hoplites are gonna hold. Now their hoplites are gonna be higher quality than mine. It's just I'm gonna have four more. Oh. They did get... Our missile troops in our... Oh, no, that's not missile troops. That's heavy cavalry. Well, luckily, I've got some troops to spare. <laughs> so, your charge straight into the guys there. <clears throat> Did not do well. Cleon, no, I think you're actually gonna come in and do, do a bit of damage. You're seeing that your men are routed. You're seeing that they need the leader in there. The Cleons come in, General's bodyguard, surrounded them, hopefully breaking them. There's Cleon himself! <laughs> He's coming to save the day. Right, to speed it up. Okay, Cleon, good job, good job. Just make sure you don't die. Get out of here. Right. 
Got an entire unit of hoplites that is pretty much unengaged. So, we know what that means. Alright. You keep hitting the missile troops. Oh, they came back. And my troops came back. Huh. You could have thrown something, come on! Okay, sorry about that. Uh, before I begin, what's going on here? You're being attacked by heavy cavalry. Right. Yeah, make sure you face that way. Meanwhile... Come on, Cleon. There's like... There's two... You, you got this. You got this. There's a few Greek peltists. Uh, if you can, aim straight at the general. What's happened here? They've driven you off? They have. That's annoying. Uh, where's Cleon? Cleon! Get back over here. Missile troops, also get back over here. I think my manpower at the end of the day, and just sheer quantity of heavy spear troops, is gonna carry me through. There's already massive gaps in the lines. If I could just get a hoplite onto there, I can kill their king. This time for real. Look, there he is. He's taking a bit of fire. I almost want to send Cleon in to avenge his king. But he's just gonna he's gonna hand back, he's watching him. He knows that his best chance at killing the king without losing his own life is to use his hoplites. What? He's to Look at this man! He just walked straight into them! He marched his army in a wedge formation right into the hoplites. He does not fear death. He does not fear death. So he's gonna get it. Come on. Do it. Right there. In his in the horse. In the horse. Oh, are you kidding me? How did he survive that? I can imagine Cleon looking at this guy. He's like the absolute opposite of Cleon. Cleon is a tactician. He only goes in when he needs to. This guy is fighting with a sword against the hoplites on a horse. How is this man alive? How is this kid alive? Go down! Is he immortal? Is he some sort of Herculean god? Right. Cleon's asked to see this for himself. Oh wait, no. No, no, no. Hold on. I just realized you're marching right in front of their own troops. <laughs> that was almost terrible. Okay, keep that up. Uh, okay, their hoplites are broken. I think. Nice. Uh, where's their cavalry? They had another cavalry. It, it, is it like oh, way over? It's way over there. Don't have to worry then. Right, Cleon. I know what I said before, but you're going in for the kill. Get the king! Avenge your king and kill theirs! He's charging into their own lines. He's charging into my lines? Their lines? He's charging into their lines. Come on, Cleon. He's, he's there. You're there. He's there. There has to be some way we can make this work. Never mind. We finally got him! Let us hope it is not poison the carrion birds! Okay. Now, Cleon, you got nine people left and I'm kind of scared. Get out of here. Nice job, Cleon, though. You almost had your one-on-one, -on -one, but... You, <laughs> the king was retreated inside spear troops. There we go. Cleon, you can take up the, uh... You can take on the cleanup duty, I think. So the last general's bodyguard, taking me off that. The captain is still way over there. And he has not routed yet, so that's something we're gonna have to deal with. Missile! Hunter, quickly! 
technically the rest of their troops hasn't quite broken, although they're withdrawing. I'm probably not going to be able to catch them because I don't want to send Cleon out that far. Is he withdrawn as well? He is. They're all withdrawn. Right. Any genuinely routing troops, Cleon can take them out. Can you intercept? I wonder if you guys can intercept. Any silver chevron troops we can take down is a it's just amazing for us. Move, move. Destroy them. The gods be praised. You missed them. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Well, that's fine. I think we've done enough damage. More than enough damage. Okay, uh, I don't think there's anyone else. Oh, no, there is... There is some. Cleon, go take care of him. See, it gets really awkward in Rome 1 because they... Sometimes they have, like, people at the back. Which, they, they have to, like, be in the center, but there's people at the back, people in front of them, so they just sort of hang out. In any case, they left with barely a hundred men to their name. Good job, Cleon. You avenged Pankles. In this fight, you have avenged Pankles, and earned your title as the general of his army. People saw your bravery at the last second. They saw your bravery at charging the king. Straight into our lines. The kin fled from Cleon. Straight into our uh, straight into our half-life lines. Oh, did I get my agent, by the way? No, okay, that's next turn. I haven't even had the turn yet. But a good job. Definitely a good job. They don't have much left. I wonder if I can just keep the campaign going. Mm, probably shouldn't risk it. After I take care of the capital. I'll send the troops back, get retrained, then come back again. Well done, Cleon. You're doing good work. But that is the end of this part, folks. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for Cleon taking over the rest of Crete. So, see you then.